I wasn't having enough fun already. Sugar plump. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. 
Oh yeah, we'll talk. Keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. See you tonight. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. You fucker. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? You better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? You're I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? We found this prick? Not yet. You haven't paid okay. Me back the last oh, how about eight. going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? Hey, My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah, purple car. That's him. Fuck. He's on you. Let's go. Sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Thanks, Daddy. Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once.
There's something deeply noble about growing your own vegetables. Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Morning, Wood. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? How are you doing? I'm great. It's the rest of the world that's the problem. If I can live low impact, why can't everyone else? Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. What the fuck, dude?
Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. I'm on my way to the Bureau. Link up with Packy and Gus, get the fire truck, and be ready for my call. All right. Them dudes is pros, so this should go kind of smooth, right? Turnstile. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Ah, shit.
case you needed proof, coffee was a diuretic. Janitor? Was the last one a heart attack or a budget cut? When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. Man, it's not about being. They don't work so hard. Building's closing any second. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Shit's in motion, people. We ready to build. Y'all ready for this? In and out, homes. Let's do it. All right, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. Signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull up over here. In the building. Come on. Don't worry. Find the department here. Painkillers or that hallucinatory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor.
I got the drive. Let's go. Shit! 
fire truck as soon as possible i'm working on it yeah because if they connect the dots man i don't know man i'm working on it any minute they'll be looking for us i mean those guys in the building you took down if they knew who else is gonna know it ain't worth thinking about dog trust me i'm gonna get us there as fast as i can all right shit shit i just don't want to run into something man y'all don't want to run into trevor bro that's who you don't want to run into <laughs> you're right so uh Take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? They gotta be looking for us. We gonna be cool, okay? Can he get there any quicker? They ain't on us yet. Well, now that we're in the clear, I can probably tell you people, I didn't think we were going to make it out of there. But you planned the thing, right? Yeah, I chose the best of two impossible options. We had to sell them that we were firemen to start with. That's a pretty crazy task. And that's just to get the opportunity to have a high-rise fall down on us? Yeah, well, thank you kindly for being so upfront with us on how dangerous this motherfucker was. We made it, didn't we? Whole crew's intact. You're all professionals, know what I'm saying? Scores are easy when you ain't got to depend on no wannabes. We're charmed, boys. We're charmed or we're really good at this shit. <laughs> charmed? Yeah, that's about right. Michael DeSanta, Franklin Clinton, Gustavo Moda, and Patrick McReary. When people are talking about the time guys went into the bureau and wiped their files, man, those will be the names, the rumors. This one will go down in the ages. Yeah, man, I'm just glad this shit is over. 
I don't want to do nothing else for them fools no more. Nor do I, bro. I got to swing that. Hey, you got to swing something with Trevor, too. You should reach out, homie. I'll think about it. I'm kind of enjoying my break from him. Don't think about it too long. He might decide to act. That's all I'm saying, man. Hey, let's the place up here. Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we oh. did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high-security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm Ooh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davey and Dick Wild. Uh, for serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Fuck you.
Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. What's 
Chicken? Stop your car! Pull it over already! We'll protect you! Just pull over! He wants to kill me! He wants to kill me! On the floor, lady! On the fucking floor! Clear the hangar! He's a psychopath! Molly! Molly! He kills people! Help me! Out of my way! Oh! Stop! Look out!
I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there.